Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Manuel, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, I feel a little sick. Oh. Yeah, I have a uh, headache. Headache, oh, uh, that's pretty headache. bad. I have the flu too. Oh no, I hope you feel uh, better soon. Yeah, solo voy a estar eh, como oyente más, más que todo por si no participo oh. mucho. Okay? okay, that's fine. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right, Manuel, eh, how are you doing with the platform? The platform is finished for me. You're the, done. Yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. Okay. Sí, Ingrid Carolina, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Ingrid? Very good. Great. How was the weekend? Mm, excellent. It was good, all right, nice. I'm glad to hear that it was nice. It was a good one. And how about the platforming it? Yes. How are you doing? Mm, estoy en la lección tres, el, casi para la nota final. Oh, all right, you're doing well. Okay, good, keep going. And let me see, Melissa Arely. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Melissa? Hi, fine, teacher. Okay, very well. How was the weekend? Uh, my weekend was very quiet. quiet. Oh, really? I uh, stay in my house. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. You had some time to rest, right? Just stay at home and resting. Nice. Yes. Okay, very well. And let me see. Maria Jose Abrego. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Maria Jose? I am awesome. Great. How was the weekend? Was good. Okay. Good. And how about the the platform? How are you doing with that? I finished, teacher. You're done. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Good. Nancy Carolina. Good evening. Good night, teacher. How are you? I'm very fine. Good. How was the weekend? I was working in a supermarket. Oh, okay, you had to work on the weekend. Do you work on Saturday and Sunday as well? Everything this, everything weekend? Every, every weekend, oh, okay. Every weekend. Um, you work all the weekend, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. And how about the platform? What section are you in? I am cashier. Okay, and uh, tell me about the platform, Nancy. What section are you in? In the platform? Uh, oh, you're done. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, ya toda la, uh, toda All la right. Plataforma. That's perfect. Excellent. Let me see. Uh, oh, okay. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, let me see. Maria Jose Martinez, good evening. Sorry, Maria Jose, I couldn't hear you. How are you? Fine, teacher. Okay, great. How was the weekend? My house is my donor. Sorry, can you repeat that, please? In my house with my donor. Oh, nice. You spend some time with your daughter. 
Okay, very good. And let me see how about Carla Iris Martinez. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Carla? I'm fine, thanks. All right, very well. How was the weekend? Well, I had a good weekend. You had a good one? Okay, I'm glad yeah. to hear that. And how about the platform? What section are you in? Well, I am part of Unit 4. Okay. You're in Section 4 already. Very well. Yeah. Keep going. Thank you, sir. Okay. Oscar Ortega, good evening. Uh, good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine? Great. How was the weekend? Uh, uh, and on Saturday, I went to play soccer and, and Sunday racing in my home. Okay. All right, that's nice. You had some time to have fun and some time to rest. And how about the platform, yes. Oscar? Have you been I working on it? it? You're done as well. Okay, excellent. Congratulations. Okay. And me, let me see. Marvin Joseph, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? Fine, no problem. Okay, good. And how was the weekend? The weekend is, is very short. Yes, so, right. Yeah, I agree to that. <laughs> this the uh, Saturday uh, with my my family clean the house. Okay. All weekend. And the Sunday uh, we are going to shop. The supermarket. All right, that's good. And how about the platform? Have you been working on it? I finished uh, unit done. four. Okay. I, mean, I start the the unit five. All right, sounds good. That's very well. Thank you. Okay, and so we're going to start by taking a ten dance now. So please, everybody, uh, pay attention and. Um, say present if you are here, right? So, Ingrid Carolina Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Noemi Carballo. Present. Okay. Joserina Siria. Joselin Asiria Romero Gaitán. Okay, Joana Raquel Cortez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Julia Maritza Bautista. Julia Maritza. Okay. Eh, Karen Elizabeth Calderón Gomar. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Karen Estefania Argueta Escobar. Karen Estefania Argueta Escobar. Carla Iris Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Carla Vanessa González. Present, teacher. Good. Katia Lisbeth. Present. Thank you, Katia. Crisia Magdalena. Present, teacher. Okay, eh, Luis Alberto Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. Luis Alonso. Luis Alonso Present, Mendoza. Teacher. Okay, thanks. Luis Carlos Guevara. Present. Thanks. Luz Marina. Luz Marina Hernández. Okay. Present. Is that Luz Marina? Okay, thank you. Okay. Good. Mayra Lorena. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Aristides. Present teacher. Thanks. Marco Antonio. Yeah. 
Marco Antonio Ramírez. María del Carmen Jorge. María José Ábrego. Present teacher. María José Martínez. I'm here, teacher. Very well. Marlene Guadalupe Berríos. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Lilian Guevara. Present. Great. Marvin Joseph Salazar. Present teacher. Good. Mayra Roxana Vilorio. Present teacher. Okay. Melissa Arely Guardado. Present. Melvin Antonio López. Present. Thanks. Milagro Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Carolina Mengíbar. Nancy Carolina Mengíbar. Oscar Giovanni Ortega Mejía. Present teacher. Okay. And Jose Atilio Flores. Jose Atilio Flores. Okay. All right. So let's start um, today's class by reviewing some vocabulary. Um, well, remember that this is our week number three, and we're going to be working on section number four. But before we get to that, there's a topic that we haven't studied from section three. And I'd like to check it because it's an important one. So first I want to review this vocabulary and then uh, we would practice locations and directions. So let's practice. We have uh, the different places around the city. We got a bank, a drugstore, a post office, a gas station, a restaurant, a bookstore, a department store, and a supermarket. Let's repeat them. A bank. A bank. A drugstore. A bank. A drugstore. A post office. A post office. A gas station. A gas station. A restaurant. A restaurant. A bookstore. A bookstore. Bookstore. A department store. A department store. A supermarket. Supermarket. Okay. What are some other places around the city? Do you know any others? Any other places apart from the ones we have here? A school. The school, very well. The church. Park. The church, the park. Oh. Any police others? Station. The police station. Mm -hmm. Cinema, no entra. The cinema, yes, it's part of it. The cinema or movie theater. Mm -hmm. Any other? The church, fire station. The church, the fire station, very well. The bakery, also bakery. Mall, mall. Barber shop. Okay, the mall, the barber shop. Okay, or the hair salon as well. Good. Okay, and so now that we have reviewed that vocabulary, let's move on to prepositions. Uh, we use prepositions of place to indicate the location of something, the place where something is related to a, another reference point, right? So let's watch this video and then we are going to explain and do some practice. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's across from the park. 
Let's listen and practice. Hi, everyone. This class. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like... Okay, let's take a minute to practice the conversation. Do I have any volunteers to read it? Me, teacher. I am teacher. Melvin and Crisia. Is that correct? Yes. I am. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Melvin, you start. Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on, it's on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. <clears throat> on the corner of Main of and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, very good. Thanks for reading. Um, everybody repeat, please. Public. 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 Okay, let me have a second pair to read. Who's that? Hey, any volunteers to read? Melissa Arely and... Oscar. Oscar, okay, thanks. Okay. All right, go ahead, Oscar, you start. Uh, excuse me, can you help me? It is, it is, is there a public restroom around, around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, well, th there's a restroom in the department store on my street. Where is on my street? It's on the corner of May and First Avenue. O on the corner, what's my and fur? Yes. It's across from the park. You can't miss it. Ten, tens of love. Okay, very well. Thanks for reading. Um, let me see, Jennifer, I saw you raise your hand. Do you want to read? Jennifer Noemi? Okay, and who's reading with Jennifer? Any other volunteer? Luis Enriquez. Okay, good. Go ahead. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think I don't think I don't think so. Oh no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a rest a restroom in the depot store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of May and First Avenue. On the corner of May and First? Yes, it's a road for the park. You can, you can mix it. 
Thanks a lot. Okay, very good. Um, now let's repeat, everybody repeat, please. Department store. Department store. Restroom. 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 Public. 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 On the corner of. On the corner, On the corner, corner, corner of. 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 Main. 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 First. 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 Avenue. 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 Across from. Across, Across from. from. Across from. Okay. Do you have questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation? Oh. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, restroom es una manera diferente de decir baño, que yo la conocía yes. solo por bedroom. Ba bathroom, no sé Bathroom, cómo. yes. Yeah, we got bathroom. both words, bathroom and restroom. So both of them mean the same. Okay. Okay, any other questions? No more? Okay, let's continue. Yeah. Oh, sorry, what happened? Corner. Corner, esquina. Esquina. Ah, okay. Gracias. Okay, you're welcome. All right. Let's sure go. what Tell you me. can miss it mean? Oh, you can miss it. No miss. lo puedes, eh, no lo puedes perder, no lo puedes pasar en este caso. Like, no you can perder. miss it. Es como que eh, no, puede no es posible que, que no lo vea no o algo pierdes. así. ¿no? Y es across, como, across. Across from. Sería enfrente de, like, o al cruzar, like, across from. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. Thanks a lot, teacher. Thanks a lot. That's another way to say thank you very much. It would be like, eh, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Same. More questions? No more? No, okay. Teacher. All right, let's continue then. Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Okay, so, so we have some different prepositions to indicate location. We got on, which we use for talking about streets and avenues. For example, we could say the police station is on Main Street or the bakery is on First Avenue. So you use on for streets and avenues. Then we have on the corner of, which is, as you see here with the X, it is in una esquina, right? In la esquina de, like on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street, you find a, a cinema, for instance. Then we have across from, which is, as, is in, as it is indicated here in the picture, al cruzar or enfrente de, like uh, another way to say this would be in front of. That's another one you can use. Then we have next to, as you see here, we got um, one place and then the other one is right next to it. So that would be next to, a la par de. Then we have between. Whenever we use between, we must have a three different um, 
three different places because we got um, this one and this one and then between would be uh, just in the middle, right? So that's how they go, between, entre. And now let's repeat them, everybody repeat. On. 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 On the corner of. Across from. Across from. Next to. Next to. Next. Between. 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 Okay, and then in order to use them in sentences, you may use them with the verb be, as you see here. The department store is on Main Street, or the police station is on Second Avenue. Okay. Uh, here we have it's on the corner of Main and First. That it's can refer to any place, like the, the park is on the corner of Main and First, or we could say like the the church is across from the park. Um, let me think about another example with next to, like the, the cafe is next to the barber shop. And then we have another example for between. And the important thing about between is that you mentioned two places, or well, actually three, right? So you would say the bank is between the department store and the restaurant or the post office is between the supermarket and the mall, for instance. So you got three different places and that would be pretty much it about prepositions. Any doubts? So far so good? Okay, let's continue. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department